Well, how's it, people? Editing Sam here. So I'm back from work now. I'm busy editing long lost footage, which I found on my camera. Oh, and if my eyes, if you see my eyes going there all the time, it's because I'm looking at my laptop, looking at the same footage that you're looking at. When I say long lost, I mean it's literally from October last year. Last year? Was this last year? You see, this is what happens when you get old. Time starts going faster and faster until it's all just one big blur. And then next thing you know, you're dead. Anyway, so I found this long lost footage from uh, a wedding that I attended and it was my cousin's wedding. But the thing is, like I started off really well. I had every intention to vlog this wedding and uh, well, you know what happens at weddings, you, you have some beverages. That was my mistake. I had a few beverages and then I just forgot how to vlog. Like you will notice when you watch this, you will actually see the, um, uh, the, what's the word I'm looking for? The, um, the, um, deterioration, deterioration, deterioration. Oh my gosh, deterioration, deterioration, deterioration. There we go. Did I ever mention that I'm an English teacher? Because this, this footage is such a mess, I'm trying to like piece together everything. So I'm going to just sit here and uh, take you through the footage, like narrate you through it. Yeah, that's the best I can do, hey? Hopefully as I narrate you through this, it will come back to me. The moral of the story is don't uh, get drunk or don't go to weddings or both. As you can see from this bit that I'm going to show you now, my vlogging started off really well. Well, how's it, people? I am currently in a place called Eden Vale. Um, I'm here with my mom and my dad and my sister and my brother-in-law. I'm here for a wedding. It's my cousin's wedding. And I thought, why not vlog the wedding? Because, hey, it's an Indian wedding. And I haven't done something like that before. So that is what I'm here to do. I want to give you a quick room tour. Focus. Focus. Thank you. I probably should have shown you this last night when we got here because now it's kind of messed up. But the thing is we got here so late that I was just too tired to even think of my camera. So anyway, here's the bedroom and here is my little bathroom. My bathroom is hidden behind this huge mirror door. It's pretty cool. So like now it's just a mirror ooh, ooh, ooh. but then when you push the mirror away it's a bathroom <laughs> with a see-through sink even can you tell that i come from a farm anyway so yeah that that's my bathroom and that's my bedroom and that's my tv they're showing muppets in space how exciting and um that is a microwave and those are my snacks which i've already started with and that is that stuff there these are my pretty flowers and this is my mirror hey focus so that's pretty much my room i got my own room because you know forever alone but it's nice you know i love having my own room because i can just do whatever i want i'm free to poop by myself i'm really weird when it comes to pooping so I'm, I'm just happy that i'm i can poop in peace and i can sit naked on my bed if i want like honestly the perks of being single forever okay i just want to show you outside quickly because there's this beautiful jacaranda tree or yakaranda tree um and it's just too pretty you know it's just too pretty so hold on There it is. Oop, there it is. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? I just love jacaranda trees, man. I mean, purple trees. What's not to love? Look at this. In all its glory. Ah ha ha. We actually have one, like, right in our driveway at home, but 
It's just you you never get tired of them. This place is seriously so stunning and it's so quiet like you'd never even believe that you're in Joburg. It, I feel like I'm back on my farm. It's so quiet. Also like we're just it's such this place is so beautiful and the service is amazing and just everything's been so perfect so if you're in Edenvale and you're looking for a place to stay I would really recommend this place because it's pretty nice all right so the wedding is later I'm gonna get ready soon I need to shower because ain't nobody want a dirty Indian at their wedding can you focus I'm gonna slap this thing oh here we go. Oh gosh, my face looks hideous. Maybe it shouldn't focus. If you are following me on Instagram, I showed you a sneak peek of my Indian outfit. But if you're not following me on Instagram, then what are you doing? But anyway, here's a sneak peek of my Indian outfit. Okay, that's enough. But I'll show you the actual thing when I'm ready and dressed and made up and everything hey just by the way uh so it's it's no secret johannesburg is not my favorite city uh but what i do love about you johannesburg is how your hair just automatically sets like you're always having a good hair day you can't tell now because i haven't showered and washed my hair it looks a mess don't just don't even look at my hair i don't even know why i brought this up to be honest because now everyone's looking at my hair like in durban with that humidity like just thinking about it makes me want to cry but the, like that's just it's just it's just it's non-existent here it's it's just beautiful here it's just wonderful it's just like it just falls into place it's wonderful do you see what i'm saying i started off so well man this vlog had such potential shame all right so at this point i went to go get dressed and looking back on this outfit now it's amazing how things can change in a year it hasn't even been a year that was october 2018 uh, and i'm looking back on this outfit now and it's so Ugly, I don't even know what I was thinking. When I bought this material for this outfit, it was the most beautiful thing I had ever seen. And now when I'm looking at this outfit, it just, it's just not looking good. It makes my boobs look so big. It's just horrible. I just wish I could rewind and just do this all over again, honestly. Don't judge me, please. Just don't even, just don't even watch this vlog. Anyway, let's continue. Guys, I'm ready. What do you think? Oh my God. I can barely walk in my shoes, so today is going to be a very interesting day. And then, well, my mother hijacked the camera because it was a special moment because, you know, we only get to wear Indian outfits like once every five years because no one in our family wants to get married, apparently. You wouldn't believe that these are farm people, right? And so we had to... um admire ourselves for a bit and then it was time to go to the venue now this venue is called shepston gardens i think and boy oh boy did i almost have a heart attack and die when i saw this place because <sighs> well how's it people i'm probably at the most extravagant wedding of my life i was telling a few people like i found my venue I just need to find a man now. I mean, look at this place. It looks like a bloody castle. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Even looking at this footage one year later, and I'm, it, all the memories are coming back to me. Look at this. Look at that chandelier. I mean, look at that chandelier. Look at those glass ceilings. Oh, you see this bit here? This is what it looks like when you're trying to walk upstairs and you're wearing an Indian outfit that weighs more than you and shoes that are taller than you and you're trying to vlog. This is how that person walks upstairs. Oh, you see this glass building here? Yeah, that's where the actual wedding ceremony took place. Yeah, I know. It's beautiful. I know. I mean, what even is this man? I mean, look at this, guys. I mean, come on look at all these pretty indian aunties oh yeah. look at all their beautiful saris man so nice they looking sorry my indian's gonna slip out every now and then in this vlog uh, i just want to warn you look at that bloody jacaranda tree just being all beautiful by itself ah yes yes my future venue yes Look at 
those flower arrangements, man. Okay, so then the actual wedding starts. <laughs> Oh, also, you see how this person is fanning herself? Yeah, it was so hot under there. And now just imagine sitting under that glass building in your Indian outfit, which weighs more than you. Oh, it was just so much fun. Anyway, listen, I still want my wedding here, hey? Doesn't matter if people die in the heat. I don't care. I still want my wedding in this greenhouse. Doesn't matter if people die. Doesn't matter. It's fine. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. At this point, we're all standing because the bridal couple are walking onto the stage. And of course, when you're as tall as me, or should I say as short as me, there's no point trying to catch a glimpse of the bridal couple because all you see is like the backs of people's heads and flowers and the tops of the vases okay so then the actual wedding started i think i've said that before but this is when the actual actual ceremony started and i'm gonna show you a whole bunch of clips of like rituals please don't ask me what all these rituals mean because i don't have a clue i won't lie oh sam but you're just the worst indian yeah go complain to someone who cares hey yeah i i don't know what all these rituals mean it was a beautiful wedding and that's all that matters and then it was time to eat the starters thank goodness because by now i was getting hungry we were only like 10 or 15 minutes into the ceremony and i was already hungry oh i just remembered this Puri patta. Oh my gosh. Yo, my patta was pootying after I ate this. Did I just say my patta was pootying? That puri patta. Yo, guys. Yo, it. Yo. I still to this day dream about it. I had to censor this bit because my mother was saying inappropriate things at a wedding as she usually does. And then there were more rituals. <laughs> And by now I'm getting hungry again. By now my puri patta has been digested. <laughs> And by now my stomach has eaten itself. <laughs> Then it was time for the exchanging of the gifts. Probably the most extravagant exchanging of the gifts I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, and also I get really excited when I see the exchanging of the gifts because it usually means that the end is nigh and the food is nigh. Hey! I was very hungry at this point. And then it was supper time! Oh gosh, now let me tell you something about an Indian wedding. If you've never been to an Indian wedding, I feel so sorry for you because... The food at an Indian wedding, it's almost always a biryani. In fact, it's not almost always. It is always a biryani, okay? Always. Vegetable biryani. Standard. And that is the best part of any Indian wedding. You know what's so funny? Is you will go to every, every Indian person's wedding and you will have the same biryani. And still, you will never get bored of that biryani. Still, that biryani will be the highlight of the entire wedding. Everyone, no one even cares about the ceremony. Although this was my cousin's wedding, so I cared about the ceremony. But everyone is just sitting there counting down the minutes for that hour to be over so that they can stuff themselves with biryani and soji. I miss home. Can I take a group photo? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> and then I met my cousin. So the groom is my cousin. Oh, I, I haven't even told you that. Oh my gosh. You're probably sitting there this whole time wondering which one is my cousin. Jeepers. Well done, Sam. It's, listen, it's, 
8 o'clock at night, I'm tired, okay? So my cousin is the groom. Oh, and this first one that you're about to see, this boy is my cousin who is the brother of the groom. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> this is my cousin. Isn't he so handsome? He's getting married next. No. <laughs> and this is my cousin no. who got married today. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then it was the reception time, which is why I look like this. time for a bunch of the usual speeches. So we're about to have some words of wisdom. Since you're already married, you can't return him. <laughs> My brother, I'm so happy for you. You are a true friend, Tinesh, and you are a true partner, and I know you'll be a true husband. Now, ladies and gents, please make sure that your glasses are charged. And then it was finally time for the Toast. Over close to a day. I've seen the love and care he has for you over the years, and it really is something special. Basically, Tishan, from this point onwards, you will never walk alone. Ah, <laughs> uh, guys, I think my cousin was talking to me, and I missed this whole bloody joke. And I think I missed a good one because listen to how loudly they're laughing. <laughs> Psh, missed it. Don't know what happened. Don't ask me what happened in that joke because I don't know. Can we all raise a glass to the happy couple? Yes. Tishan and Nash, on behalf of everyone here, I wish the two of you many, many years of marital bliss. Congrats, guys. Cheers. To those drinking, please Uber home. <laughs> I hope to see each and every one of you on the dance floor later tonight. With that being said, let's get this party started, guys. This is where things went a bit uh, pear-shaped. Uh, yeah, like you, you'll be able to tell from now, like my vlogging is so ridiculous. Like I just, I have like clips that last like three seconds long, if you're lucky. I don't know, I can't remember all of this. So it was really nice watching this back because then I was like, oh, okay, that happened, oh. Like, I started really well with the, the, the bride, with the bride and groom's first dance. But after that, yeah. <laughs> from here like can you see my face yeah that's when you know hey yeah it's, it's, it's just uh, deteriorating from here now <laughs> oh. <laughs> at this point so basically we went down all the cousins went down to the bar it was like downstairs and we decided to run away from all the old people from all our parents we ran away down to the bar to have our own fun and <laughs> this was really funny because we were just sitting there having a good time and then out of nowhere my mother pops up from behind this window she caught us red-handed and she's just standing there like a creep watching us with her beady eyes anyway it was really funny you had to be there <laughs> what happened but I went upstairs somewhere I found the flowers that were on our tables in that greenhouse place I don't know I should stop calling it a greenhouse but under that glass roof shelter thing and I was very carried away with those flowers hey so carried away apparently that I vlogged it I cannot believe these flowers are real I thought they were fake the whole time I did not know flowers this color existed and then obviously what is a night with drunken Sam if she does not drop her drink on herself or on someone else the night is incomplete oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god i'm so sorry <sighs> yeah i felt so bad for my cousin's wife because i dropped my strawberry whatever that shot was it was a strawberry something i dropped it on i'm sure her very expensive outfit at least you smell 
kind of nice. Guys, we're at the wrong wedding. Who is Roxanne and Peter? <laughs> Roxanne and Peter, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. You guys also had a great venue for your wedding. <laughs> I mean, that look says it all. And then at this point, my sister and I, we went gallivanting. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. Oh God. What? I don't know what we were looking for. We could have been looking for a toilet. We could have been looking for fairies. Don't ask me what we were looking for, but we were lost. <laughs> this was at the end of the night, which is why it looks quite empty at this stage. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember after that point and apparently neither does my camera. That, yeah, that's all the footage I have. I'm sorry that I don't have more footage of me dancing like a hooligan because i remember dancing the night away yeah we were boogieing down my feet was so sore after that night that night was one of the most fun nights i've ever had in my life it was that wedding was so much fun if my cousin is watching your wedding was so much fun oh my gosh i remember my we couldn't my sister couldn't find the key to her room and they ended up crashing at my place do you remember how earlier in the vlog i was saying that i love having my own room yeah yeah so much for that hey i can't remember how we we ubered home yeah we get home my poor father we had to ring him at like three or four in the morning because they went home earlier than us and these two monkeys couldn't find their key and then my father had to come and let us in at 3 or 4 in the morning luckily my father will never get angry we're so lucky to have our parents um, but yeah we got let in and uh, the rest is uh, history what a night hey can't remember much of it but the bits that i do remember it was fun when i finally put all of this footage together i really hope that this makes a vlog and i really hope that you enjoyed what what is left of this footage if you did enjoy the video give it a like if you didn't enjoy the video give it a like anyway don't forget to follow me on all the social medias and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you don't subscribe to my channel the next indian wedding you go to you're gonna get kissed by 20 indian aunties with very sloppy lips hey eh? and you don't want that and i'll see you next time with a new video goodbye